This is a short video to test out in a better way the disconnected lock collector. So this is my demo lab system and I have the DLC machine that I uh, showed before. This is a Unix system and, and showed in the previous video the address is the 177. I also have an internal tool that we use called QWorkbench that actually sent uh, all type of locks into uh, QReader, but I set it up, and I'm going to show you that, to actually, instead of sending those logs into QReader, I am sending those into that DLC component, and it will, in turn, send those into QReader. So let me actually show you the setup. So here in my QReader admin, I go into Log Sources, and I want to show you that I don't have any Cisco picks uh, and that's the logs I'm going to be sending. So here on the pics here, there's nothing. And we'll, you'll see now that if everything works out, those logs should be auto-discovered and they should show up as a new log source being added. So um, let me leave here my uh, QRadar log activity tab ready for that. So this is the internal tool, actually, a friend of mine called Dieter uh, from Germany created this and and I have selected here as the active event collector that dot 77 address which is the DLC so the logs that are going to be replayed here are going to be sent there so I go into the log generator and I select here uh, the vendor is going to be Cisco the device is going to be PIX uh, here it is and these are the different, you know, look uh, that we can send to it. Let me select this one, the last one. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to specify that for this, it's going to be 172, the source IP, 172, that one. And this one is going to be the 203. These are two of my VM's uh, machines. Uh, that's the, the source port. I'm going to be sending the... Uh, events per second, I'm going to do 100 events per second, and I'm going to send uh, 50 events or so, right? So when I click here, test run now, I, uh, as soon as I do that, I'm going to switch quickly here to my QRadar uh, console to see what do we get. So let's see if all this works as expected. Test run now, I go quickly here my career and notice that the events that are suspected begin to come as uh, unknown right but after the you know a couple of those events so the, these are, are known so it, it probably if we send them again then curator will have enough of them to say well I'm gonna I need to auto discover this so let me actually do a test run again and go back here <laughs> beautiful notice that I get the source IP, you know, 204, the destination IP, I really like this, uh, you know, but then this is the event that we were sending, and if I go to the admin tab and go back to my log sources, I should have one auto discover. I'm using the old, this is actually a much nicer, I did a video on, on a much nicer interface for this, but in case that you're not familiar, let me use this one. So let's sort this by creation date. <laughs> and there it is. It has just been uh, created and auto discovered. So DLC works.